video 22, you know, looking at a small air uh, ductwork that I made up out of aluminum that uh, goes onto the new blower that's now mounted in. Come back here a little bit and see the blower in there placed next to the motor. So just barely fits in with the, uh, the, the, alum the aluminum tray is off right now. Uh, uh, with all the electronics is off, just the framework is there, and you can see that blower just barely fits right in that space. And I also managed to jam in the uh, <clears throat> the air filter, so it should get nice uh, clean air coming into this thing. It'll be, be a little tough to, to clean it, but uh, I'll worry about that later, I guess. It fits for the now, and uh, that's in. Uh, I've been neatening up my uh, wiring as well. <clears throat> you can see I put a nice little block in there to bring the 12-volt the uh, components together, and Pull all the wires together in the conduit. Uh, I've ran uh, this black and white wire here. I haven't used that yet. I gotta, I've just got to run up there right now to the dashboard area, and it goes down to a thermal switch that's cup, that's uh, built right inside the motor. So I'll run that to uh, some sort of a idiot light in the dashboard to let me know the motor's too hot. And uh, another little one of those blocks down here for the 12-volt system. I kind of like those. A uh, nice little way to tie it, the pieces together. And uh, that's about it. Not a whole lot of progress. Took me quite a while to get this uh, motor strap down in there, the blower motor. And of course I had to make that new band go around uh, just out of some uh, galvanized steel that I had lying around. So, so I'm going to put the electronics tray back on and uh, I can power the car back up at that point. It's not that far from running again right now. And uh, we'll see what's next.